Hey guys, this is Nefarious Intent, and today I'm going to show you how to code a custom module for Zero Day using the Zero Develop SDK that just came out. First, you're going to want to open your clips, make a new folder for your workspace. In this case, this is what I'm using, and then launch. Once you're in, you're going to create a new Java project, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it custom module. You can find a download for the SDK on intent.store slash zero day. You scroll to this part of the web page, and then there's the download button. Then you're going to want to navigate to the build path, configure build path, libraries, and add external jars. And you're gonna to wanna to locate the Zero Develop SDK. Now that I've got the SDK added to the library list, I can hit apply and close. And then I can right click on the SRC, new package. And you want to type store.intent.zerodevelop.custom. Then you wanna right click that and go to new class. I'm going to call mine bhop. Once you're in the editor, you just want to add extends module to the end and then import module from the zero develop SDK. Now there's going to be an immediate error on the actual class name and you want to hover over and click add unimplemented methods because this is extending off of a bigger piece. Follow along with me as I fill in the methods. You're going to want to return a new version object and we can see the parameters here when we hover over it. It's gonna be three integers, and they're supposed to correspond with the version number of the Zero Develop SDK, which in this case is 1.0.0, so it's 100. Save. Next, you're gonna to wanna to return the category. So we type return category dot, and then whatever category we want it to be. In this case, it's a movement hack. Lastly, we want to type in a description for it. So I'm gonna call it custom bhop by Nefarious. Now that we have the basic metadata set up for the module, we can get started in actually coding the functionality. So I'm gonna indent a little bit here and then type public void on update. And that is one of the first methods that you can hook into when you make a custom module with Zero Develop SDK. So there's a couple key variables you're going to need to use as you code your module, and they are mainly player and world. So in this case, I can just type player and then there's already a bunch of methods I could use. And in this case, I'm actually gonna create a conditional statement. So it's gonna be if player dot is on ground and player dot is moving, then we want to player jump and we want to player set speed to some larger number like 0.5. We can test this module by opening our workspace in our file explorer, navigating to bin, and then all the way into the class, which is bhop.class. So you're gonna to wanna to open zero day. Now that I'm in zero day, I want to open zero develop and press import Java module. It will prompt you the file explorer from where you want to find the same class file. So it's in bin and then all the way in there, bhop.class. When we go back to zero day, there'll be a prompt if we want to install bhop. Now the good thing about this system is there's a sort of antivirus built into zero day. So it checks all the modules to make sure they don't do anything radical that could break your computer. So for the most part, you're safe, but just to be on the safe side, only install modules from people you trust. Now that bhop is loaded in, you'll see it will automatically appear in the click GUI and everywhere else in the client, and you can just turn it on. And then we can test it out. It's not really a b-hop, it's more of just a badly coded speed because of the way I coded it. So we can fix that. Just close zero day, go back to your project. In this case, I need to adjust the actual set speed method to make it always set speed instead of just when I'm on ground. So I'm going to delete that and then create another statement here that says, if player is moving, then you always want to set the speed to 0.5. And now, I can reopen zero day and repeat the process. I just remembered that you can actually uninstall modules without having to close zero day. So in this case, on the left side of the zero develop, you can just click the X and then reinstall it straight from there without having to restart the whole client. So now that we install it, I can go to bhop. And as you can see, it's working like expected. It's an actual bhop. Although bhop isn't the only thing you can code with the zero develop SDK, there's actually a lot of things you can code. I personally coded a high pixel bypassing killer with autoblock. I coded some baritone tests and some notification tests and other things. So it's pretty versatile. 
you can actually just hit player dot and then see a lot of options that you have and there's also world dot that we haven't even exhibited yet and there's also a lot of options there for enumerating lists of entities removing things so you could actually code a custom anti-bot with this you could code like kill salts you could code all sorts of stuff so just go crazy with it anyway thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys next time before i end the video i also want to make it very clear that there's a bunch of other events you can actually hook into and let me show you some of them right here so there's on send so public event send packet on send with the parameter event send packet e you can import it and just make sure at the end to return the same e variable so the client can process it whatever changes you may have made to it um but you can see when you hit e dot there's actually the packet um variable with this you can use instance of so for instance if e instance of there's a java doc included within the archive that you can actually access by right clicking the module project going to build path configure build path expanding the little arrow and then clicking java doc location you're going to click java doc in archive find the actual sdk again and then click path within archive browse and then click doc okay okay and apply and close and then you can see there's a little more information when you hover over but you can also click open attach java doc in browser and you can scroll down and see all about the methods and variables and other things and every single class and like method has one of these so you can see like set position and update and the parameters for that like everything Bye. Bye. Bye.